Talking with us from his North Country home, Dr. Richard Levitan detailed the 10 days he spent inside the ER at Bellevue Hospital in New York. Every room, instead of being room one, was now room 1A, 1B, 1C because we had no space. One of the things that surprised him the most were the types of patients he saw with the virus. People without obesity, people without heart disease, without lung disease, without diabetes, and yet they come in terrible and they will need a ventilator. Their fate often grim. Did you actually see people die from this virus? Oh, many. Uh, there are many. Uh, you know, we were doing uh, video conference calls. On the other end was this entire family who was watching their father, their mother, their brother, their sister die. But Levitan, who has spent his career studying airway management, has found hope. We can do uh, more less aggressive moves, like just trying to keep their oxygen up and positioning them and using special oxygenation devices and not put them on ventilators. In my experience, about three out of four patients can avoid a ventilator. The doctor agrees with top experts that most people who get the virus will recover at home. But for those who end up in the hospital, he estimates only a quarter will survive. I think that over the next few weeks to months to years, uh, everybody on this planet is going to get exposed to this virus or get a vaccine to keep them from getting exposed. Uh, the whole idea now is to, in the short term, is to not get everybody sick at once. Well, Dr. Levitan also shared that during his first few days in New York, building managers actually kicked him out of his brother's apartment because of his contact with the coronavirus patients. Luckily, he was able to find a hotel room. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Tyler Dumont, WMUR News 9.